Now, as you can see, some of Sarah and Pickle's favourite people are standing beside them today. We're here to celebrate the love Sarah and Pickles have for each other, so it's only fair that we make a few promises to them before they make some to each other. For Sarah and Pickles, we promise. For Sarah and Pickles, we promise. To belly laugh in the good bits. To belly laugh in the good bits. Ugly cry in the mushy bits. Ugly cry in the mushy bits. Cheer like mad for the awesome bits. Cheer like mad for the awesome bits. And later on, drink like fish. And later on, drink like fish. They met through like rugby and be around town when she turned 18. But he was really keen on her and she didn't want to borrow him. Yeah, to be afraid of Zara. Yeah, literally. Now, the first time Sarah actually remembers meeting Pickles was at the start of the 2018 footy season. As the season continued, they've talked every day since, with their streak now almost hitting 2,000 days. <laughs> Sarah felt as though she'd made a new best friend. But for Pickles, this wasn't enough. I've been working at the Railway Tavern when the name Pickles started to come up in her conversation more and more. The more Pickles was talked about, the more it was, now we're just mates. And I'm like, are you sure? Yeah, just mates. There was a lot of effort from Pickles and not much, not much reply from SB. And he chased her for years. He chased her around for about a year or so, trying to find her, trying to track her down to get onto her. And they're confessing his feelings for Sarah and then confessing them again and again and again. <laughs> Sun creeps up, bright shine on my morning skin like a silent hill. Was, however, the turning point in their friendship <laughs> as when Sarah saw Pickles behind bars, she couldn't help but confess to him that she had feelings for him too. And just like that, in the most romantic place on earth, the Moree Jail, Sarah knew she'd found the one. After about a year or so, she finally gave up and let him catch her. And then after that, it was love. <laughs> in April 2022, they welcomed their beautiful baby girl Sophie into the world, with their hearts instantly becoming fuller than they ever imagined possible. Seeing each other become parents has been the single greatest gift they could have ever received, which in theory is beautiful, but when Sarah had no presents under the tree to unwrap on Christmas in 2022, she admits she was a little, well, a lot upset. After Pickles and Sophie unwrapped their gifts, Sarah took herself away to have a shower and most probably a bit of a cry. When Pickles called her back into the room and when she returned, there was Sophie holding a ring box and Pickles blurting out the most romantic speech and I quote, so do you want to get married? <laughs> <laughs> of course she said yes, yeah, so let's give them both a big cheer for that. Sarah, I just want to thank you so much for finally letting me out of the friend zone. <laughs> You're my best friend, the love of my life, and my partner in crime. I appreciate everything you have done for me. You're very beautiful, and I'm so lucky to be able to call you my wife. Not long after getting together, I knew you were the one I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Pickles, it's pretty fair to say that this has been a roller coaster ride, but believe it or not, since the day we first properly met, I knew deep down it was always going to be you. Watching you become the best dad to Sophie has only made my love for you grow stronger. You tr do truly have a massive heart of gold under all that banter you throw out and most importantly be someone you never have to grow old with because let's face it we're never growing up. <laughs> <laughs> I love you and the little family we've created unconditionally and I can't wait to be your wife and see what our future holds together. Repeat after me, with the love in our hearts. With the love in our hearts. We will love you for life. We will love you for life. We're happy to pronounce you. We're happy to pronounce you. As husband and wife. As husband and wife. Give her a kiss, mate.
Yeah, congratulations guys. It's been such an honour to be um, part of your special day and also watching you guys grow together as a couple and a family with little Sophie J. <laughs> My cousin, though I hope and wish you the best for your future and I'm sure it'll all work out fine. Yeah, oh yeah, it's bloody good to see them both happy. Thanks for involving me in it all and yeah, nah, it's be a good day. Get on the piss. Yeah. <laughs> Your desire to party, attempt ludicrous backflips and cut chicks in half on the footy field has only grown stronger since you had Sophie, which still amazes me to this day. I'd like to ask everyone to raise a glass to this beautiful couple and join me in wishing them all the happiness for the future. We love you guys. To Pickles and Sarah. From the bottom of my heart, I wish both of you so many good things and just a wonderful, wonderful life together. He was wild, I was wild. I met a good woman, he met a good woman. His first child is a daughter, my first child is a daughter. So you got, you got three boys to go. <laughs> Sarah has had a lifetime of athletic achievement, full of representative honours, high level competition and all around expectation of excellence. As they say though, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, so I need to ask Sarah, how many premierships have you won? Three cheers for Sarah and Pickles, raise your glass. Hip it! This may shock you to hear, but Sarah's not perfect. You aren't either. And together, your marriage will not be perfect. But that's only because it's real. Because perfect marriages and perfect people don't exist. But Pix, Sarah is the perfect one for you. Love you too.